Hello my dear friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of calculus challenging problems where we are going to solve one very interesting integration problem from JE. Problem is integration e raised to the power 3x minus e power x over 1 plus e raised to the power 2x plus e raised to the power 4x dx. So I will solve this question using substitution and I will use it twice. So let's get started. As you can see exponents are involved so we can write the exponent property which i will use so that property is a power b whole power c can be written as a power b c this is one property so if i will use it then i can write this integration as e power x whole cube okay minus e raised to the power x divided by 1 plus e raised to the power x whole square plus e raised to the power x whole power 4 dx okay now you can see e power x is everywhere numerator and denominator so i will give substitution but before that if we can take e power x common so that would be good so let's take e power x common so what is left e power x whole square minus 1 in the numerator divided by 1 plus unchanged it would be e power x whole square plus e power x whole power 4. Now I will use substitution. So I will consider let e power x is equal to t. So take derivative both sides e power x dx that would be equal to dt. So in that place e power x dx so i will write dt so it will become dt let me write here so it will be t square minus 1 dt e power x times dx dt so i will write dt divided by 1 plus t square plus t power 4 now again it looks like very tedious okay will write here integration t square minus 1 times dt over 1 plus t square plus t power 4. Let's divide numerator and denominator by t square. So what I am going to do divided by t square divided by t square. The complete denominator and the complete numerator. So it will give us 1 minus 1 over t square divided by 1 over t square plus 1 plus t square and dt. Okay. Now if you will observe the denominator only. So it is t square plus 1 over t square plus 1. If I will add and subtract 1 here. And I will collect these four terms. Let me write t square plus 1 over t square plus 2. So it is something whole square. It is t plus 1 over t whole square. So in denominator we can write this one is integration 1 minus 1 over t square divided by t plus 1 over t whole square minus 1 and dt. Now see denominator is t plus 1 by t whole square minus 1. If I will substitute again, if I will give one more time substitution, let me write here, let t plus 1 over t equal to suppose u. Let's take derivative both sides. So the derivative of t will be 1 plus 1 over t it is t power minus 1. And if you are finding derivative then it will become nxn minus 1. So minus 1 t power minus 1 minus 1. Minus 1 over t square. Okay. So if I will consider the derivative of 1 by t then I have to write here minus 1 by t square. And dt will be there. And right side would be du 
Now check it is coming out my numerator. 1 minus 1 over t square times dt equal to du. And this term is your numerator. Just see. So it will become du over t square or better is to say u square. du over u square minus 1. Let me write here. Integration du divided by u square minus 1. Now we know that one is standard result of integration. Let me write the formula first dx over x square minus a square. Its integration directly we can write 1 over 2a log mod x minus a over x plus a plus integration constant c. So I will use this formula as per our problem. I can write this one will become 1 over 2a. In that place it is 1. So I will write 1 over 2 log mod of u minus 1 over u plus 1 and integration constant suppose c. Okay, this is our identity basically or you can say integration formula. Now we have to only put back the value. What was our u? u was t plus 1 over t. And what was our t? t was e raised to the power x. So there are two substitutions which we considered while solving. So let's put the value of u. u is t plus 1 over t. So our result will become, let me write half log. Let's put the value of u first. So I will write t plus 1 over t that is u minus 1 divided by u plus 1. So t plus 1 over t plus 1. Modulus is there. Absolute value function. It cannot be negative because of log function. Okay. Now we will take up LCM or multiply numerator denominator by t. Let me multiply. So half log t square plus 1 minus t divided by t square plus 1 plus t plus c. Okay. Only we have to arrange. We will get our answer and put the value of t that is e raised to the power x. So I will write my answer as 1 over 2 log and then I will put the same absolute value function. I will write e raised to the power 2x minus e raised to the power x plus 1 divided by e raised to the power 2x plus e raised to the power x plus 1 plus integration constant c. This is our answer. This is how we will proceed. Use substitution twice and put back using formula from the integration. We can conclude our result. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.